I, I, I must never run again. Well then, hello there. What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One and today as you can see we got a whole crew with us. We have uh Oh well, who's that? Tidmouth standing right here. Say hi Tidmouth. Hello. We have Ovan. Hello. Welcome back, Ovan. Thank you. We have James. Say hi James. Hello. And of course up on top we got Dolan. What's up? What's up? So anyway, uh, today we're here at the Lake Valley at the AD&T, and we have a whole bunch of construction to do. We have a rail yard to put in. I think Tidmouth wants to do that. We have a cattle farm to put in. We also have a meat packing plant to install. And what else you guys want to do? We'll figure it out, I suppose. Okay, that works for me. So, uh, Tidmouth. Yeah, you have any ideas? You have the idea where we want to put the rail yard? Uh, well, I mean, we've got a fairly big area, sort of where those trees are, uh, like behind reward. So probably something back there, sort of along the edge of the mountainside. Perfect. And I think we decided that the meat packing plant is going to go up at Emmett Hill. Is that correct? Sounds or are we going to put it here in Ironburg? I'm at Hill. Okay, Dolan, since you spoke up, you want to take care of that? Absolutely. All right. And I will go, obviously, put the cattle farm in. I kind of have an idea of where that's going to go down by the iron mine. Not where um, Millsy and I originally placed it, a different spot. Mm. So, uh, and Ovon and James, what do you guys want to work on? Um, I can either help one of you guys with the yard or the um, meat packaging plants or like wherever you guys need. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll fill in with whoever will take me. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm going to head to the iron mine and uh, start working from there. Okay. Alright. Now that the introductions are out of the way, yes, we are playing Railroads Online today. Now, if you're not familiar with Railroads Online, it is an early access game. It is a steam train game based on narrow gauge trains in the American Midwest. We're going to be actually getting a new map soon, not in the Midwest. It's set in Alaska soon, so look out for some videos about that coming soon. In the meantime, we're working on the AD&D today. Now, I am a guest on this railroad. This isn't my save. Same thing with Tidmouth. He is a guest. And me and Tidmouth tend to be kind of cosmetic builders. And although I volunteered to help Tidmouth build up the shunting yard, the switching yard, I realized that very quickly there was going to be too many cooks in the kitchen if I didn't get out of his way. Now, I could infer as to what he's wanting to do simply by what he's doing, but I also didn't want to do something and then have it be wrong and be in his way and result in us not getting done what needed to get done, i.e. building this switch yard. Now I do know that the guys over at the AD&D do really appreciate uh, doing things in a cosmetic style. And me and Tidmouth are very cosmetic builders. Uh, if you go check out our Satisfactory series, uh, you'll see that we're kind of getting to a point where we're going to start building up things in a very cosmetic fashion. Uh, unfortunately, we tend to almost always be form over function, me and Tidmouth. So I knew that I had an opportunity here to kind of make things look lived in, and I know that the AD&D guys would appreciate that. So I went ahead and started working on the cosmetic side of things while Tidmouth continued working on the switch yard. Now I'm going to be bouncing in and out of high speed here, and I'll always put on screen how fast I've sped up the footage just so you guys can get a good understanding of what is happening. And we'll bounce out of high speed for some of the jokes that are happening uh, off screen, and we'll kind of cut back in a little later once I get a chance to go join one of the trains and help out. But for the meantime, enjoy the next couple minutes set to some soothing music, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode. Tidmouth, I'd hate to break it to you, but uh, I don't think we have tunnels yet. Yeah, I was, I was building a solid uh, 
like sliding. Oh, uh, you're taking the engine to. Ah. Oh, to like park a shunting engine over here? Yeah. I'm like the master of derailments in this game. Well, was no, 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 come back. Uh oh. I was trying to light the lamps because it's. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no! Shenanigans! Guys, we're oh, playing a game oh, about on. trains. It sounds like you're playing a first person <laughs> shooter over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, it feels like it. Oh. Uh, last I checked. This is not Warframe. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around and Irvin's building an effigy to hockey at the end of the, uh, shunter shed. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I'm probably gonna delete you... those here in a second. I'm not happy with oh. how they look. But... Alright, lamps are lit. Okay, I can't really see what I'm doing here, so I might need to change. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Daytime's for wimps. That's quite funny. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, I, I, they don't look horrible. <laughs> no. You've done so much in the amount of time it has taken me to make two props. Well, not really. I made like one siding and then like a couple of passing loops. <laughs> it's still though. It's you've done. It's all level. It's all nice. It's it's. Quasi pretty. I just. Oven, if it, if it makes you feel any better, uh, James and I have done derailed a train, <laughs> taking a train that's out for re uh, out for con uh, for, for you know on yeah. a work order to be reconstructed. Um, it does. Chased a runaway tender. Trust me, the, the noises you're making. Are, the, the noises you're making oh. are making me feel better. <laughs> It's like Derail Valley's a horror game, but the besides the <laughs> point. Oh, Railroad so Online's not a horror game. It's just terrifying when your train is going off by itself. Oh, trust me. I am very well aware of runaway trains. Uh, you see, the following clips are scenes from my uh, Swamp Bottom Junction tour. And although I did have my friend Sticks to help me along the way, in a lot of cases we had two to three trains moving around, which meant I was the camera. Which meant many of the trains you see moving around in those scenes are moving autonomously and not through the use of mods. Which meant we had every reason to be derailing trains left, right, and center. And even though it's just a video game, the idea of having to clean that up consistently and constantly Cool. You know, it, back in the last episode, Evil One and I were talking about it, and Evil One said, well, if this was the solution, I would have got a brand new PC a long time ago. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I feel so bad. Like, <laughs> Not wrong. I, I really tried to reassure Evil One that was not the case. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Line update it did. Yeah. It definitely got better. I, I, I don't know if it's this map has like. 
but we'll make it work. I'm sorry, Tidmouth, what'd you say about trees? Don't like trust me with them? I into the uh, terrain by them. Oh. <laughs> Just briefly see the void under the right. map. <laughs> Very immersive gameplay. <laughs> right. Oh. And it's got smacked it's by a tree. accurate simulation of the American Midwest. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. There's just a blue <laughs> void under the under the floor. <laughs> that's how it is in well, I can't say that's how it is in real life. I wouldn't know about the void. I love the dead silence after I say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I actually didn't actually understand what you I, said. I was very tempted to make a crack about well that proves you're not a millennial then, if you if you're not oh. familiar with the call of the void. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I am still going. <laughs> and he's going, going, going. I don't going. see him anymore. He's gone. He's out of here. I oh my gosh, I, I'm over by the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over by the you're farm. Getting, you're getting close to the wheat farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That wow. Wild, dude. And he is long gone, just like my ex-girlfriend who shall never return. <laughs> Damn, that, that, that was deep. <laughs> Here, so it's like, you know. Go for me too. <laughs> did you make that joke twice just in case one of us cut the, the first time you did it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am clueless. The clueless? Yes. I thought you were Dolan. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I really don't know what I was supposed to do there. I think laughing was probably the best choice I had. <laughs> Just laughing with a hint of sarcasm, that's the best my, my jokes deserve. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, from, from the uh, hour we've been playing so far, I, I think Evil One's computer is just fu- <laughs> 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 nice. Good job, Ten Myth. Ten Myth. <laughs> How many uh, sound clips do you have on that board? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough that he actually has to go looking for them when he needs them and doesn't find them in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, th there is a search bar, but I don't always know what I named the file name, so... <laughs> right. <laughs> Apparently, we're supposed to be getting an undo button in the next update. Really? Oh, that'd be so nice. Yeah, I think I heard that, too. Right. I think so Milty can... said something about that. It'd be good if, if one accidentally deletes a wagon at <laughs> the middle of a track. <laughs> yeah, well, Actually, I don't yes. know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, undo undoing, a, undoing a delete accidentally deleted a building or something is going to be just phenomenal. It'll be just peachy. Just cut down an entire forest and then just spam the undo button as people are driving through it. Boxcar in front of the caboose. I'm gonna come into the into the caboose. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> Technically, it's illegal to take a nap. In the caboose? Watch me. Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> so railroad regulations actually, if you. Uh, fall asleep on the job, you lose your job. Yeah. Like, well, like that. a lot of conductors definitely sleep in the train. Once, once again, we uh, we don't adhere to any kind of regulations here at the AD&D, so. 
We make uh, our own regulations with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> I think the greatest part about running my own business was people didn't believe that I was the owner because I'm a young guy and then my dad's business was in the back of my business so like they would see my dad back there and just assume he owned the business and they would just assume I was talking smack <laughs> like and so like they they get upset by the answer I gave them was a perfectly reasonable answer, and then they'd like storm back there to talk to my dad, and my dad would have no way of answering their question because he knew nothing about my business. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he ran the books for me, and that was about it. Like, he, he just could not answer their question. And he'd just be like, well, you need to talk to the owner and point back at me, and they'd just get more mad. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Technically, you can fill up that, uh, you can technically fill up the, uh, cattle car with boxes as well. I'm sure you could, but I didn't want to be too heavy climbing that grade. I don't blame you. Alright, one car. Half car. And anywhere in there will work. Kinda nice. How many cars? Uh, two. Yeah, because you can't put it in this. Stop it. Anytime. Yeah, because you can't use the stock car for it. You have to use the box car. Yeah. Which I think they should give us like a hopper. I yeah, I think the hopper. The I, I was a, I thought we were gonna get a closed top hopper. That's what I thought we were gonna get. And then we get Me the too. Stop right there. Very nice. Okay, ahead one. Did somebody unload the water? Yep. Stop. Go and unload the straw next. I'm oh, stuck. Uh, you're stuck. You're stuck? You're stuck. Yep. What are we stuck on? You're stuck on the spigot. Oh no. The spigot's right. stopping me from bringing the throw, box. Throw in over. reverse. Don't, yep. don't, oh, don't break the Back line. up. Uh, too good to be true. Pass the switch. I just realized you didn't bring the ventilated box car with. Isn't that that uh in that That's one the... on there? Third one back? Nope. No? I thought there was one. That's that's the that's the regular cow box car. Om only cows can fit in this one. You can't put cows in a normal box car. Ah, uh, what the same alien hell. And you and you can only put corned beef in a ventilated box car. You can't you can't put them in that anything else. Oh. Really? Yep. Darn it. Has anybody actually been inside this shed yet? Which one? The one over here with push in it. I mean, I, <clears throat> I, I built everything that's in there. 
So yes, <laughs> but look, we've got... <laughs> okay, where are we, in Thomas? I guess. <laughs> It's like that one rail yard from GTA 5, so it's just got like several like pieces of British oh rolling stuck in God. it. That annoys the crap out of me with GTA 5's um, rail signs and signals and all. Oh my God. I To be fair, I tried to put down the regular stoppers in here and they just like will not. There's too much terrain that they clip into and they will not go down, so I had to make fake stoppers. Oh, okay. At least they work. They do yeah. actually work. Uh, yeah, you'll you, you bump them and you stop. So like, they nice. Are, they are a solid thing. Well, I just I was wish looking, this ladder was... could be used yes, as a ladder. I wish you could stand on the ladder too. It's it's annoying. I was looking at these earlier, these stops, and I was like, that is creative as hell. I like it. I um, usually usually what I'll do with um, the the stoves is I flip them all the way upside down. And I stick them in and out of the ground at weird angles to make them look like re-railers and things like that. Well, I think it was a very productive episode. We got the cattle farm placed. We got the beef processing placed. We got this awesome, amazing, huge, very complex yard built. I think that's a good place to leave it. Head myth. Well, uh, obviously the usual please to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and also, if if you're so inclined, to say, uh, come and check out the series I'm doing with Oven on Satisfactory. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so thank you guys again so much. I really do appreciate you. And uh, thank you for watching. We have a bucket of fun doing this, and we wouldn't be coming together if it uh, wasn't for the YouTube audience watching. So thank you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.